Are you curious about what makes your car's engine tick? Have you ever wondered about the intricate inner workings that power your vehicle? In this video, we will delve into the anatomy of an engine to uncover the secrets behind this mechanical marvel. What makes your car run? Inline gasoline engines, or ICEs, are what make your car go vroom. It sends power to the wheels like the heart of your bike. Most cars have these kinds of engines, which can run on either diesel or gasoline. When fuel and air come together in a gasoline engine, the spark plug starts the burning process. Diesel engines, on the other hand, use air compression to heat the air to about 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which sets the fuel on fire. A diesel engine does not need spark plugs. Recent years have also seen the development of hybrid and electric motors, which run on batteries and electric currents, or engines that combine internal combustion engines and electric motors. These new ideas are affecting how cars will work in the future. How flexible internal combustion engines are. There are a lot of different uses for internal combustion engines. They are in cars, boats, ships, planes, and trains, among other things. Their name comes from the fact that the fuel inside the engine is lit on fire to do work. The same blend of gasoline and air is then let out as exhaust. For this, you can use a piston, which is also known as a reciprocating motor or a turbine. Let us open the hood and look more closely. Blocks and pistons. There are cylinders and valves inside the engine. These are like the filling stations for the engine. A spark plug lights the mixture of fuel and air in the cylinder, which causes a controlled blast. The blast moves the piston down which turns the crankshaft of the engine. But let us learn more about what pistons and cylinders do. They do different things together, but they work together. Piston. The piston is a moving part of the combustion chamber. Its job is to turn the kinetic energy that burning produces into mechanical work. It is like the engine's power plant. Cylinder. The cylinder is a compartment that burns fuel to make power. The piston and the intake and exhaust valves are inside. The car moves because the piston moves back and forth inside the cylinder, going up and down twice. The piston moving up and down is a very important part of how the engine works. The piston feels inertia forces, which make up the piston force during the burning cycle. This force goes to the engine and connecting rod. The tilt of the connecting rod and the angle between the piston head and the axis of the connecting rod cause the force and its direction to change all the time. Piston rings are very important parts of engines. By removing oil from the sides of the cylinder, they seal the combustion and working chambers, which ends up using less oil. Furthermore, they aid in the removal of the heat that the piston gathers during burning. The process of combustion what makes the magic happen is the burning process. In the cylinder, the right amount of fuel from the gas tank is mixed with air. The spark plug then lights this blend on fire, which makes the gases quickly expand. This raises the warmth and pressure, which pushes the piston down. There are many complicated steps in the burning process. During the entry stroke, a mix of fuel and air enters the combustion chamber of a gasoline engine. The compression stroke squeezes it, which raises its warmth and pressure. When the spark plug lights this blend on fire, the power stroke begins. The burned gases push the piston down, starting the mechanical phase. The burned gases are then let out during the exhaust stroke by the exhaust valves, and the cycle repeats. In diesel engines, the high compression is enough to make the fuel ignite on its own. Since the cylinder is under a lot of pressure, the air inside heats up, which sets the diesel fuel in the chamber on fire. Modern engines use cutting-edge technologies to speed up this process, making it more efficient and lowering emissions, which ensures that the car runs at its best. The crankshaft and rods that connect them. It is the connecting rods that send force from the engine to the crankshaft. The pistons move up and down, and this is what turns that movement into rotational motion, which drives your car's wheels. The crankshaft is a cylinder-shaped tube with several crank pins that are spaced apart. Connecting rods connect it to the pistons. The pistons in the cylinders move up and down during burning, which makes these connecting rods turn around the crank pins. The piston moves back and forth, 
and this pivoting motion turns that movement into the rotating motion that turns the wheels. A crankshaft has counterweights placed in key spots to keep the forces from the pistons and connecting rods balanced and to stop shaking. Connecting rods are very important for keeping structures together, even when they are under a lot of stress and tension. In short, the crankshaft and connecting rods in a car engine work together to turn the pistons up and down motion into the rotating motion that moves the car. It is important that these parts are strong, balanced, and accurate because they are so important to the engine's general performance and dependability. What lubrication does for you. When things move and get hot, contact happens. This is where lubrication comes in. For your engine, motor oil is like blood. It keeps all the moving parts working well and stops them from breaking down. It is important to lubricate an engine so that it runs smoothly and reliably. As the engine runs, motor oil keeps moving parts from rubbing against each other, which lowers friction and wear. This makes sure that the engine works parts last longer. Also, engine oil takes in and gives off heat, which keeps things from getting too hot. The oil filter cleans the oil by getting rid of harmful particles that could hurt the engine. Changing the oil often is important to replace oil that breaks down or gets dirty over time. In the end, good lubrication makes sure that the engine runs easily, effectively, and quietly, which extends its life and ensures perfect performance. Cooling system. The engine can get very hot. That is why there is a method for cooling. Coolant and water are mixed together and flow through tubes around the engine to take in heat. After that, the radiator cools the mixture down so that it can flow again. The cooling system of a car engine is very important for keeping it at the right temperature and keeping it from getting too hot. The radiator is an important part of this device because it has a web of tubes and fins. Coolant, which is a mix of water and antifreeze, goes through these tubes and soaks up engine heat. The radiator cools down when air blows over its fins. The cooling system needs regular upkeep because the coolant can break down or get dirty over time, which could lead to rust or too much heat. To keep the cooling system working at its best, it is important to flush and replace the water as directed. Exhaust system. Exhaust fumes are what are left over after something burns. After going into the catalytic converter through the exhaust system, these gases come out of the car through the tailpipe. The catalytic converter also cuts down on pollution. The exhaust system of a car does more than one thing. It controls noise and pollution while making the engine work better. Fuel burning gases leave the engine through exhaust pipes, which collect them and send them to the catalytic converter. Pollutants that are bad for the environment are turned into substances that are not as bad. After going through the muffler, which cuts down on noise, the gas comes out of the tailpipe. To stop corrosion and keep the exhaust flow going smoothly, regular cleaning is a must. In conclusion, the cooling system of a car engine is in charge of keeping the engine's temperature in check. It keeps the engine from getting too hot, makes sure it works right, and makes the motor last longer. The exhaust system controls noise and pollution while making the engine run more efficiently. This makes the ride quieter and less harmful to the environment. There you have it, folks. The complicated set of things that make your ride go. The car engine is an amazing piece of engineering that combines chemistry, physics, and mechanics to make the fun driving experience we all love. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun videos. Thanks for listening, and do not forget to keep the cars moving and the roads open.